Welcome to the third chapter of this course, Strong AI versus Weak AI. You're already aware of what Weak AI and Strong AI are, but perhaps you don't realize it. Human-like artificial intelligence, with the power to reason, to be self-aware, have a conversation, that's Strong AI. If we think of science fiction movies, characters like Terminators, or the robots in Star Wars, they're all representing strong AI. Many scientists are toiling to create intelligent machines that reason and solve problems, are logical and act rationally, and perhaps even behave ethically. But so far, strong AI doesn't exist in the real world. All the AI created so far is called weak AI. It's AI that's designed to perform specific, well-defined tasks Weak AI can recognize an individual face out of a million photographs. It can spot a defect on an electronic component. Or, at a company like Amazon, it might suggest you buy an accounting book if you've bought business books in the past. Let's look at weak AI in more detail, and specifically, how it's deployed. As we saw before, AI needs four components to operate. Data, algorithms, computing power, and application scenarios. In most deployment situations, these four essential components are located in different physical locations. That means that you need a network to make them work together. Let's visualize this. On this robot, the bottom layer, or the legs, represent the infrastructure layer, sensors and cameras, the internet, and high-performance chips in servers. Above it, the AI elements layer consists of data, algorithms, and computing power. At the top, it's the AI application layer, which is the context in which the AI will be used. Finance, healthcare, education, and so on. Weak AI has many subfields, and more will appear as AI grows in maturity. AI robotics, for example, is likely to branch into several subfields as robots become increasingly part of our daily lives. Robots used in manufacturing and healthcare are obviously quite different. Strong AI is also considered a subfield of AI nowadays. Some people call it artificial general intelligence. From originally being the main focus of AI developers, strong AI has become almost like a sideshow in recent years and forms of artificial intelligence that may seem like strong AI are just types of weak AI that simulate a human-like response. The smart speakers Siri or Huawei Celia, for instance, don't really understand turn on the TV. What they do is process the keywords turn on and TV and use an algorithm to actually turn on the TV. And on this note, the chapter on strong AI versus weak AI comes to a close.